Yeah, I know, right? Sean says, be blessed, pr uh, praying for the cones. Thank you, Sean. Do you think we will see the Rams start to implode if their stars go down next year? Calf and draft picks gone. Um, you know what's interesting about them is they rarely get a lot of injuries. They have a lot of young players. They yeah. don't draft in the first round, so people think, oh, you know, they're a top-heavy team. They draft a lot of players. It's just yeah. in the later round. I think they only have two less draft starters they've drafted than the Niners. I think the Niners are at – I tweeted this earlier this year. I have to go yeah. find the tweet. I think they were at 12. The Niners were at 14 this year. So it's not as big a drop-off in terms of drafting. They just get their stars through free agency. And, yes, like if Aaron Donald retired, I think that would be a massive, massive blow to the Rams. But I, I also I also think if he's there, if Ramsey's there, Stafford, Cup, you know, Woods comes back and McVay is still calling the plays, like – I, I don't understand why people are so convinced they're going to drop off because they have a veteran-laden team, so it's not like they need guys to start in terms of their draft picks for this year, and they do have an abundance of mid-round picks over the next couple years. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. I don't know if they're going to have a Super Bowl roster, but I know they're going to still be a contender. Von Miller and OBJ were big for them. Von Miller yeah. especially. like The way that Raheem Mostert finally figured out to – like they were sliding the center to Donald, right? So they just put yeah. Von Miller on the other side and stunned him to the inside where there was no center like that. I mean, he was really important, big yeah. game player too. That's a guy who's always good and super. And I'll, super I'll say this right now. I said this on Twitter spaces. The first thing I think the Niners should do after they get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo is there's two pass rushers that are exceptional in this class to me. And if you want to keep this win now roster, they're both veterans. You can get them on short-term deals, but it's going to be a lot of money. And that's Von Miller and Chandler Jones. I'm going and unloading the Brinks trucks, and it would be Von Miller would be my first choice because you pair Von Miller with Nick Bosa. Chris Kassarek can make it work with everybody else. You have Kinlaw coming back from injury. You're still high on him. Eric Armstead is a terrific three technique. You solidify the two edges with Von Miller and Nick Bosa, and the sky's the limit. That That's what I think they should do. I don't know if the Niners would be willing, though, to go unload the Brinks truck for an older player because that means then they would put a little bit of pressure on themselves to go win this year in Trey Lance's first year starting. Michael Young says, Jimmy Garoppolo does nothing for the Niners that Trey can't do even in small sample size we've seen. Yeah, that's my question. What, what is it? What exactly does Jimmy do that Trey can't do? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe he, he, he can throw a little bit better from tight spaces over the middle of the field. And, you know, there's he, he is an OK player, right? Like he started in the NFL and he's looked at as a starter yeah. for a reason. But Trey Lance also can do things Jimmy Garoppolo can't do right in yeah. the run game that we don't account for throwing the ball down the field. So Scott Wilson says, I think Kyle does want to drop back quarterback was high on Mac Jones and also wanted Stafford. So Rodgers and Brady, you never know. Real quick. Why did Kyle say no to Brady the first time? Wasn't it that he didn't quite fit his couldn't do the bootlegs? Couldn't do the play. action? what they said? It? I, there, there were, I, I don't know. There was never an official word, but I, I heard that a lot. He doesn't really fit the system. Can't do the bootlegs, right? That's play action. That's what we're talking about. Look, look at McVay. Saying. They don't do the bootlegs anymore. They That's put the true. guy in shotgun and say, here, five receivers, go make a play. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure they were like, hey, Jimmy, we want you for one more year. We want to pump up your trade value and send you out of here. Like, okay, well, then put me in the shotgun and don't ask me to turn my back to the defense anymore, please. Stop asking me to learn your offense because I'm not going to be here anymore. What would Jimmy Ward say now about Steph? I guess we'll have to ask him. Thanks, Waruna. David Sir says, really hope we win the Super Bowl next year. Played in Arizona. We can walk to that stadium for the foreseeable future thinking we own the place. Cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Back Can't to the wait show. to hear Debo Samuel say, I hope the locker room still smells like champagne in 2023. <laughs>